Hello, welcome back. So from today onwards, we'll be uploading videos in English as well as in Malayalam. In English, I'll be taking up the topics from chemistry. Generally, I'll be covering up the syllabus of engineering chemistry as well as for MSc and BSc degree chemistry students. So that videos will be uploaded in English and I'll be creating a separate playlist for that. And other videos will be in Malayalam, which will be useful for the PSC, UPSC, Bank, etc. If you like my videos, please do subscribe our channel and please do press that like button also. Okay. Today I'm going to take the topic first law of thermodynamics and its derivation, how it can be derived. That is very important topic for generally engineering chemistry students, also for degree students. So we'll be taking up that topic and I'll go to our video. So first law of thermodynamics. What is our first law of thermodynamics? Everybody will be knowing that and it is also called law of conservation of energy. So first law of thermodynamics is otherwise known as law of conservation of energy. That is energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. Okay, so we cannot produce energy. We cannot destroy energy but it can be transferred or converted from one form to another okay that is the first law of thermodynamics that is energy can neither be created nor be destroyed it can only be converted from one form to another we can say that if some amount of energy is produced in a system that much of amount of energy or equivalent amount of energy must disappear from the system okay so let's do the mathematical calculation of first law of thermodynamics or mathematical derivation of first law of thermodynamics how it can be done consider a chemical change a gives b okay so we were having a reactant a that is converted completely into product b that is a chemical change happened here now for A, we know that it will have some kind of internal energy, right? So every system will have its own energy and that, that is called its internal energy. Okay, let me repeat. Every system will have some, some amount of its own energy and that is called its internal energy. Now, how it can be represented? Internal energy is usually represented with the letter U. Okay, so internal energy is always represented using U. Now, for A, I will be representing the internal energy of A as Ua. So, A is converted into B, right? How A can be converted into B? Converting A into B, A needs to absorb some amount of energy from the surroundings, right? And then only it will be converted into B. So, A will be absorbing some amount of energy from the surroundings. That is called heat energy. And heat energy or heat is generally represented using the letter Q. Okay, so these are the general terms that we are using in thermodynamics. U represent internal energy, Q represent heat or heat energy. Fine, so A will be absorbing some amount of heat Q from the surroundings, then it will be converted into B. Now the total energy of A will be UA plus Q. Clear? So what is UA plus Q? UA was the already energy that was present inside A. After that A have absorbed Q amount of energy from the surroundings for converting A into B. So Q is the amount of heat absorbed. So total energy of the system A will be UA plus Q. Clear? Now A will be doing some amount of work for converting A into B. So that work we are representing with the letter W. Work will be always represented using the letter W. Now remember two things whenever you are learning thermodynamics. If work is done by the system, if system itself is doing the work, then work will be always negative. Okay. So whenever system is doing work, work will be negative. And when surroundings is doing work on the system or work is done on the system, then work will be always positive. Imagine that you are walking out in gym. So you are you only doing the work, right? So whenever you are doing the work, uh, finally you will be tired that is work will be always negative and whenever somebody else is doing some work for you you are going to a massage parlor and asking that person to do massage for you you'll be feeling so positive right so whenever work is done on the system work will be positive whenever work is done by the system work will be negative now here a is converted into b work is done by the system a so you will be having negative work okay so the total energy of system a will be ua plus q from that whatever work he has done or whatever work a has done that has to be subtracted then only you will get the net energy of a is it clear now so ua plus q minus w is the total energy of a 
that should be equal to the total energy of B. Total energy of B in the sense internal energy of B because energy is neither created nor destroyed, right? Whatever energy A is having, that energy only will be converted into B. So, the total energy of A was initially it was UA that is internal energy of A. Then it A has absorbed some amount of heat energy from the surroundings. So, that, that became UA plus Q. After that some work was done by the system A for converting A into B. So, work was negative. Now, this total energy of A is equal to the total energy of B that is UA plus Q minus W is equal to UB. Now, I am taking this UA to that side. What will happen? UB minus UA is equal to Q minus W. Okay, hope it is clear. So, I have just took UA to that side. So, UB minus UA that is equal to Q minus W. Now, what is UA minus sorry UB minus UA? UB is the final internal energy. UA is the initial internal energy. So, always final energy minus initial energy will be change in energy. So, you can represent it as delta U that is change in internal energy. So, change in internal energy is equal to Q minus W. Okay. Now, let us represent this let the equation in the differential form because always in thermodynamics we will be using differential forms. For making it differential, you have to put a letter D. That is it. So, delta U will be become DU. Q will become DQ. W will become DW. DU is equal to DQ minus DW. This is the differential form of our equation and we can number it as 2. Okay. So, in exam what happens if you have so many equations numbered like this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that will like the examiner will have an impression on you and they won't cut much marks. So, always put a habit of putting numbering the equations that too only important equations not like for every equations you will give the number that doesn't matter you have to give number for the important equations. Okay. So, if you have any doubt at any step please feel free to comment in my comment box. Okay. I will be giving reply for that. Now, now we have two equations. Till now we were speaking about the system A, right? System A have done this much of work, system A have absorbed Q amount of energy, system A is converted into system B. Now we are going to speak about the surroundings. Okay, whenever we are learning something in thermodynamics, always we have to learn about the system as well as the surroundings. So if you consider me, I am the system here and my class is the surroundings, right? So similarly, whenever A is converted into B, there will be a system and there will be some surroundings also. Now, in the case of an isolated system, isolated system means there is no heat transfer or there is no energy transfer, right? Flask, thermal flask. If you hold a thermal flask, you can not uh, realize the hotness of the water, right? Why? Because there is no exchange of heat. So, in an isolated system, dQ will be 0 and you can say that dU is equal to minus of dW. Okay, this is applicable only for an isolated system. For a non-isolated system, you will have this equation that is dU is equal to dQ minus dW system has absorbed Q amount of heat energy and done W amount of work, right? System have absorbed Q amount of heat. So, it is this plus Q and it is released W amount of work. So, it is minus of DW. All right. Now, for the surroundings, this will be the just ulta. Okay. What I mean is when you consider the surroundings, this is for system and this is for surroundings. This is for system. Now, when you consider the surroundings, we know that system have, uh, like our system have absorbed Q amount of energy from the surroundings, right? So, what surroundings have done? It have released Q amount of energy. So, Q amount of energy is being released. So, whatever thing is released, that will be having a negative sign, okay? So, negative of du, I can write, sorry, negative of dq okay since the system have absorbed q amount of heat energy from the surroundings so surrounding have lost q amount of heat energy so therefore it is minus of dq now the system have done q m uh, w amount of work right so when system is doing w amount of work on the surroundings i said whenever we have the word on something is done on a system we feel really positive right whenever we, a massage is done on our body we feel so happy so that is what whenever work is done on a system or on a surrounding work will be positive so here work is done by the system so whenever system is doing work on the surroundings the work will be positive 
so that is plus of dw okay so in the case of surroundings this will be just the reverse here dq was positive here dq will be negative here dw was negative here dw will be positive that's it okay so this is the new internal energy that is internal energy of the surroundings which i am representing as du dash okay so the uh, internal energy of the system is represented as du that is equal to dq minus dw now internal energy of the surroundings is represented as du dash so du dash is equal to minus of dq plus dw now you tell me du is dq minus dw right i'll put only those two equations and we'll erase out the rest okay i have just rewritten the equations for a system du is equal to dq minus dw and for the surroundings du dash will be equal to dq minus dq plus dw both will be just the reverse that's it okay now i can rewrite it as du dash is equal to minus of du why i have written this because if i put a negative sign here then here also i'll have a negative sign and here negative negative will become positive so minus du is equal to minus dq plus dw so minus dq plus dw will be minus of du just see basic mathematics that's it so i can rewrite the equation as du dash is equal to minus of du or if i'm bringing du to this side du plus du dash is equal to zero hence our first law of conservation of energy is root that's it that is energy can neither be created nor be destroyed if it is created or it is destroyed then uh, we'll have some value over here it won't be zero no okay. hence root this is a mathematical calculation for our first law of thermodynamics so if it is asked you to derive or uh, to prove mathematically the first law of thermodynamics you have to do this much of calculation only simple right only two basic equations are there then we are finally substituting it and finally giving the mathematical relation of first law of thermodynamics this is the mathematical relation of first law du plus du dash is equal to zero where du is the change in internal energy of the system du dash is the change in internal energy of the surroundings and their sum will be always zero that is or you can say the sum will be always nil it's a constant right so that is first law of thermodynamics it was a simple topic but important one in the case of the thermodynamics if you like my video please do subscribe our channel and you can mention your comments in my comment box and if you want me to take any classes on any topics you can also recommend me that on my comment box i'll be uploading videos so we'll see in the next video bye bye